So, unfortunately, um, we start the year much as we ended the last year, having to talk about racism in Italian football stadiums. Um, we had uh, Mario Balotelli racially abused during a home game uh, for Brescia against Lazio, the away supporters responsible for the abuse. Um, the game followed, uh, the referee followed the protocol that has been laid down. There was an initial warning read out over the speaker and the game was then suspended for, for a short time. Um, Balotelli has expressed his thoughts on, on that afterwards, you know, with a vergognatevi, which is, you know, shame on you basically on the Lazio fans who did it. I don't, um, Lazio did condemn it, which, you know, is um, better than has been in some cases, recent times, the club's reactions. But um, I don't know that I have anything optimistic to say in terms of this being handled any differently to other recent cases. Well, I think, I mean, there's, there's a couple of things here. And, and the problem is a lot of people view from the outside don't know the details. And because they don't know the details, they don't know possible solutions. And, mm -hmm. you know, they, they all just kind of make, come up with these vast generalizations. One very, one, one very encouraging thing is the, just the support that Balotelli got from, from the Brescia fans. Mm -hmm. And if you remember when he was racially abused against Verona, the Brescia Ultras issued that statement, which some people, including some people who should have known better, they jumped all over the ultra saying like, oh, how dare you criticize them, blah, blah, blah. But they were criticizing them for a whole range of issues which had nothing to do with racism. Yeah. But they made it very clear from the start that there's Balotelli's Bresciano, Balotelli's one of them. That, that, that can never change. And I think the other thing that's... I'm all for holding clubs to account. I think clubs have to do more and can do more. Obviously, the punishment rests with the FA, not with the clubs or with the league. I think in Lazio case, Lazio's case, it is a tricky situation because you have a situation where the club president of Lazio walks around under armed guard because of his long-running dispute with the main group of Lazio Ultras. Now, based on the information that we have thus far, it wasn't something coordinated by the main group of Lazio Ultras, the Ividucibili, not because they're not racist necessarily, but because they know that they will get punished, mm -hmm. but that it was a minority within the Lazio A support. I think this is a great opportunity where you go to the Ividucibili and say, guys, you're all going to get punished. Make sure this doesn't happen in your curva. You know, because you guys are there. You can say these guys have nothing to do with us. That's fine. But help us report them. Help us find them. We don't like you. You don't like us. You have your, your views. You didn't racially abuse on the day. These guys did. All of us suffer as a result. Mm. I'd like to see that kind of proactive action rather than, you're right, Lazio condemned them and says it's a tiny minority. We disassociate ourselves. Yeah, of course. What are you going to do? We like, you, you know, well, we I mean, that them. hasn't always happened. In no, 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 no. Yeah, well, people came up yeah. with stupid justifications yeah. in the past. I mean, Lazio, to be fair, as a club, they've generally taken it on the chin also because yeah. they know they don't have much choice. Mm. Um, but really, I mean, the Italian league, after the the, the, the anti-racism monkey incident, well, they talked you. a really big game. Mm -hmm. Now they got to follow up. Well, this is what I want to ask you specifically about the initiatives did include facial recognition um, as part of one of the initiatives that they'll look into. So how are they going to identify these people? I mean, when is that? Well, well you have to, I mean, obviously the facial recognition software isn't yet in place. Yeah. Um, uh, what they did could it be another ten years before we do? I mean, this is what I'm. They could just call up Putin and borrow <laughs> some of his. Um, I don't. I don't think it's that simple. But the, the the reality is that they were they were clearly audible. There were other people. This is why I think if they were smart about it, and if the ultras were smart about it, they would go and they would help with it because it happened in that curva. They should be able to go and identify the people. I guarantee you. Uh, I can't guarantee because I don't know. But I'm 99.9% .9 certain that the people who are racially abusing are not the leaders of the Iriduchibli. Again, not because they're not politically on the far right or because they haven't racially abused or they wouldn't do it, but simply because they don't want to be banned. And they, they don't, don't want, want to deal be, with the circumstances. And they don't want to deal with the circumstances, exactly, and mm -hmm. the consequences, right? So if you're Lotito, you go to them and say, guys, you don't like me, I don't like you, but let's deal with this, let's help us get rid of these people because otherwise we're all going to pay. Um, I think it was also, I mean, I know some of us like Simone Inzaghi more than others, but the way he got up and immediately went over to the curva 
and you know tried to try to shut this down. I think that was also encouraging. Mm. The fact that nobody, I didn't hear one person come out and say, oh, well, you know, why doesn't Balotelli leave it up to the authorities, blah, blah, blah. No, it's important that Balotelli speak up for another reason. And some people have made the point like, well, it shouldn't be on the player who gets abused to have to speak up. Well, you know why? It shouldn't be on them. They shouldn't be abused at all. Mm. But it's encouraging when there are people who have the guts, whether it's Balotelli, whether it's Antonio Rudiger, to do that because you know what? There are other players of color who get racially abused, who don't, don't have the confidence. Because, yeah. because maybe they don't have the confidence, maybe they don't, they, they don't, you know, Balotelli's used to doing whatever the hell he wants, yeah. right? So and it's important that they, that, that, that they come forward and do that. So I think, you know, we can only applaud Balotelli for that. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.